sunshine on my mind My body gets to moving And I've got a little time Twenty extra minutes But five is all I need We could do the quick Welcome to a special edition of The Morning Wood Show I am one of your hosts, Richie Sky, And as you will see or as I guess as you can see, my co-host, Mr. Demar Maurice Bouvier, is noticeably absent. Well, I can tell you what he's up to. Right this instant, he is preparing for our first, first Friday social networking happy hour with Life Magazine. And the location is going to be at Touchdown. It was formerly at Tabak. So this is a change for those of you who have been invited, and you're all invited, but the location has moved from Tabak to Touchdown, which is right beside Tabak, because Tabak had to close for some emergency construction. So we're going to shift the party over a little bit. It's still from 5 to 9.30, 5.30 to 9 p.m. tonight. Tonight, Friday, March 2nd. So you don't want to miss it. Not one second. We've got some special things planned for you. And today, on this episode of The Morning Wood Show, we got a real treat for you. We were able to go behind the scenes, backstage of the BET Music Matters Tour with the headliner Estelle, and we were able to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her opening act, which was Mr. Luke James. That's right, I said it. The boy's falsetto is crazy. You can download his new single, I Want You, right now on iTunes or however you download your music. But you can do that right now. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get right into our interview with him. It was phenomenal. I, I, you guys won't even believe how amazing he is. Let's just do it. But you know what? First, because it's the weekend, cheers to the freaking weekend. Luke James, y'all. Phenomenal, Luke James. Some of you may have remembered him from the BET Honors. I, of course, have known him for a while because I've been following him on the blogs. <laughs> saw him on thatgravejuice.net on the splash. Yeah. So I'm familiar with your work. So I'm excited to bring this to you guys with my co-host here. We got some questions for you real fast because you just got off stage here in Baltimore. Oh yeah. So tell us about the show tonight. How you feel about it? How you feel? I feel good, man. You know, uh, each city, you know, each city has different types of people, different crowd, and they want something different. Um, I'm running for president, so you know they don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't owe me anything. So I got to, I owe them. So I got to go up there and give it all, give it up, give it my all, and uh, get them into it. But they were great. They were great so far. They were good. great. And you did a phenomenal job. Thank you, man. Great job. Thank you. I had the lady scream. Oh man, 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 I work hard for my money. <laughs> Now, I know this is probably going to be like a crazy question, but people um, may ask you all the time, who is Luke James? Man, they ask me that all the time. Luke James, I'm still trying to figure that out. That's why I keep it. That's why I keep that little question on there. You know, I feel like, you know, as time goes on, as we get older, you know, we're developing, we find out new things about ourselves. But uh, for right now, Luke James is, uh, is loveful. Uber loveful. Just wants to love and just, you know, promote his, his music and, and, and hope that I inspire other artists to uh, step out into the uh, to the light, you know, and I'm hoping that I widen the door for other artists like myself. Right, right. So, Luke James is um, an activist as far as in, in music. <laughs> Better music, more music. Yeah. Right, okay. So, we, we heard that you were from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Has the events of Hurricane Katrina just pushed you forward to just make you just go after it even harder? Definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, you know, my, my family was in Katrina, and my mother, my mother, she uh, she made it out just in time. Uh, just, but just, you know, just New Orleans in general, uh, the city. You know, I, I know, I know this is bigger than me. You know what I mean? Right, is, right. And I'm not the only one, but I do know what I have to do. Right. You know what I mean? And um, it means a lot. You know, when I did the BT honors, man, all I could think about was my mom. You know, I think all I could think about was my mother and, and other people who believed in me thus, and got me thus far. So, I, you know, I have no excuses, man. I just, 
I'm going for it. Right, right. Now, after the BET Honors now, I was watching it. I, I tweet a lot, I blog a lot. And when you started performing, I was like, who is this? I was like, who is this? And everybody was trying to tell me who, who you were. And I'm like, like right after that, I found you on Twitter. I mean, did your Twitter just like blow up? Ah, man. Yeah. 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 I, was, I, was, I was at a good couple, couple thousand. No, no, I'm sorry. I was at 8,000 okay. uh, followers. I'm lying, but it was like that. It was like about 3,000. And then it just went up like right. and <laughs> 12,000 people. It's more now. So, I mean, it's working. The BET team, and I, you know, shout out to Stephen Hill and Debra Lee and Jesse uh, Collins, man. Thank you for having me. I mean, because I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be up there, but I was. Right. No, you were supposed to be up there. <laughs> That's the way it happened. Right, right, right. right. So, yeah. So, okay, now, we got to talk about this, this crazy false setup you have. Oh, I man. Mean, man. It's like a beast. It's like you take Al Green. Uh, Prince. Prince. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more control and a little richer. And you put it together, I mean, it's, it has a lot of grit and grind yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, do you like mentally prepare for that? Because, I mean, people want to hear it. They want to hear it every time yeah, yeah, yeah. you step up. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I definitely, definitely have to be uh, mentally prepared for it. Um, just developing it, you know. I'm, I'm still have more to it, to this thing. Right now. I'm still okay. learning it. To the instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> a whole lot I can I know I can do, I can do more. Right now, it's just the beginning, right? Okay. Um, all settled, man. Every night, it's just, you know, I go I go out on faith, man. Just, it's going to work. Right, just right. do it, go for it. It's, it's feeling, man. That's what started my false settle. Feeling. I felt it, and I guess I didn't scream, and I, like, dang. <laughs> let, me, let me hold it. Let me hold it, then. If I can hold it, then, you know. But I'm definitely influenced by, you know, the greats. Uh, Prince, D'Angelo, Maxwell, Al Green, Marvin Gaye. Um, even 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 uh, David Ruffin, you know he did he had a, like a real raspy voice, but he went to a falsetto that was kind of ill. Um, you know cats like that. I mean uh, the, the enchantments. Gloria, Gloria. Yeah, it was beautiful. So I mean, I definitely when I was young, I used to do the falsetto a whole lot, but um, as I got older, I kind of lost it and then I got it back. So yeah, the falsetto was my everything. So, yeah. Yeah, so, man, we, yeah, we were yeah. talking earlier about like you know we were wondering what's next for you like in terms of and then you're talking about your influences mm -hmm. what can we expect in terms of like an album like, like tell us about well, it. well I put a pre-album out in uh, December um, December 22nd it's entitled hashtag Luke hashtag Luke that's right you can get it at uh, dapiff dapiff.com uh, mixtape Luke James that's right but it's it, it's a mixtape but but I call it pre-album because it's pre it's original pieces. Um, seven seven songs, a couple hit or lose, but I, you know we, we really put our hands on them because I feel like you know I have to give people some incentive to to buy my music, you know, give some free, and they were like, oh wow, he did us a favor. Yeah, right, right. So um, and plus I really want people to understand who I am, you know, because people hear I want you and they think automatically he's a soul singer. I am a soul singer. I sing with feeling, but I'm a music. I'm 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 a musician. I am a student of the art. If I feel like doing country, I'm going to do country. You know what I mean? But that's basically the, 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 the pre-album is just basically trying to give everybody um, an idea of where I'm coming from. So I, I like to think of my sound as a Marvin Gaye, Pink Floyd, fusion kind of thing with a Coldplay kind of twist with, uh, with uh, let me see, let me see <laughs> Prince, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of everybody. I'm influenced by so much and you can hear it in my records, man, I, and by the church. I'm influenced by the church. That's why there's so much feeling. I learned how. I learned feeling from the church. You know what I'm so, uh, so the pre-album is basically what it, the pre-album is to give you a trailer of what I'm gonna come with as far as on the album. Okay. So yeah. So you, you talked about the church and that being an influence. Can you tell an aspiring singer out there what they might what they might do in order to get to be where you are today? Man. Everybody thinks I'm an overnight success, man. <laughs> no, no, he's not. No, sir, man. Been broken some more stuff. You know? <laughs> nah, but you know, you know, it's you, your network is your network, so you have to network. You have to get out there and shake people's hands. People you may not even know, you may not care to know. Right. You know, you just got to get out there. There's, there, there are so many expos like ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, things like that that, that have a lot to do with music. That, that, that are free or probably a couple dollars to get in you just go you go there and um, uh, sing you know how how I met my managers they were they were managing Tyrese at the time and uh, me and my brothers we, we, we had a group and um, 
we decided, decided to take a chance and we went on the side of the building with this famous theater by, by the name of Sanger Theater in New Orleans. Uh, we went on the side of the, side of the building, the, you know, the back entrance, and just started singing, hoping somebody noticed us. And uh, Frank Gatson, um, he noticed us and uh, brought us into Tyrese. We sang for him. We just stayed in touch until we graduated from high school. We moved to LA and started singing background. You understand? So the idea wasn't to sing background, the idea was to get a deal and come on out as an artist, right? <laughs> but um, sung background, and through singing background, we got in front of a lot of people. We, we had the opportunity of touring the world with him and meeting Clyde Davis and meeting the underdogs and meeting so many people. I wound up getting a deal, me and my brother wound up getting, getting a deal with your records. That fell through. It happens. It fell through. I thought it was over, right? I'm giving you a whole story. <laughs> we get it all. We get it here. It, it, fell, it fell through. But I had always, always, I, I was always into writing songs. Even in school, that's probably why I flunked out a lot. But in school, so, so stay in school, man. Uh, that's when you start. I, that's stay right, in school. That's right, man. Chill. You can wait till after three o'clock. You know. But um, I started writing songs, and 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 through that, that's how I kind of stayed afloat. And I met different artists and writing writing songs. That's how I got a lot of songs on the couple artists, just networking and stuff. And through that, I kind of found my sound. And through that, I met Danger. And so through Danger, me and him got clicked tight and just we were like-minded as far as the music and what we wanted to do, freedom. Um, we decided to you know, pursue my artistry and went to Mercury Records and David Massey. That's when we met David Massey and he signed me. And here I am. So who would be your, your dream artist, your dream collaboration? Dream collaboration? You just pick anybody. You just blow your mind. You dead or alive. Dead or alive. <laughs> We've lost a lot of greats, so right. dead or alive. Oh, wow. Um, I'd love to do something with Marvin. I would, I would love to do something with Pink Floyd. Um, I don't know, man. I, you know, it's, it, for me, it's all about the vibe. Man. You know, I, I really, if, if I'm rocking with you, if, I, if we, we are here, it's no box. And let's let's do it. I did a song with Estelle. She she has no she has she owns a couple pairs of box cutters. You know, she's good. So, you know, I did a joint with her and Jerry Wonder. It was kind of it was kind of solid. So yeah, I'm, I'm willing to work with anybody who wants to just sing and have a good time. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Just vibe. Well, we thank you for taking this time. No man, anytime. Y'all want to do this? Let's do this. <laughs> anytime. No matter. No matter. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And thank you for watching. This is the Morning Wood Show, and this is Luke James. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like when a smile makes shows on its own.
I need y'all to help me. Sing this. Uh. Thanks for watching the Morning Wood Show. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wake up in the morning and I'm feeling like a Mac. I can't hit a home run cause it's like a ball bat. Hard as a rock but my body still sleep. Rub it out till it's done. When I'm done I'm all geek. Feel it fresh, feel it under my thumb. In the morning, feel it, feel it when I come out of the bed, rolling with the sunshine. Think what that is, can't wait till next time. Monday morning, start with a bang. Explosions in my hand, and I let it all hang. Loose, let it drop, then I grab my clothes. I'm jumping off the bed, feeling fresh, let's go. Pick it in, let it swim. Throw the towel in, feeling good about the wood. Good wood is not a sin. All I need is like, you know, 20 minutes.